Hello everyone and welcome back to my mountain of shame! Today a game which we've seen once before when we got it, uh, I believe in Humble Bundle. Or a bundle at least, I don't know which one, but uh, I definitely remember talking about this before and saying, eh, yeah, okay, looks interesting, looks interesting. Well I guess now's the day we're actually going to play it. Now, um, a few changes in that, first of all, I've gotten the mic stand. I don't know how well it's going to work because it almost fell off my table before. But, hopefully, you know some differences. That being said, I also am going to record a Subnautica video tomorrow. So, technically you'll see that long before this, and now you can work out how far ahead I've been currently recording. Huh. Anyway, um, hi everyone. Um, so yeah, let's look what we've got here. So we've got uh, speech volume, vo music volume, so separate volume side is always good. No real graphics options, to say the least. Now, this game did almost try and lock my uh, my mouse in place when I first loaded up, but that seems to have fixed itself up. So, yay. Let's just jump straight in and give this game its 30 minutes or so, and uh, see if it's worth it, or if I should have just left it on, oh, well, up itself by the looks of it, because there's definitely a mountain here. There I am, down the bottom right hand corner. It's completely missed that. I assume that's me anyway. Stories don't have tidy beginnings. The past is always present. Is that a robot? Definitely looks like a robot. I didn't think this was going to be a sci fi story. But there has to be a spark. Something that brings the past to light. Either a robot or an alien. I think robot. Please, climb carefully. Yeah, carefully you don't roll backwards. A long way. Where, where are we going? Looks like a temple of some sorts. Down. Okay. Take a moment to rest before you walk, please. Oh. What an interesting choice. Okay. So, I moved together in... Oh. How odd. Am I a ghost? Bricked up opening. There is something here. To keep people out, do you think? Or to keep something in? There's something written here. Ancient script. This must have been cut in the mortar when it was still wet. But I think I can read it. I'm glad that you can, lady, because um, I'm having a hard time here. Heaven's Vault? Okay, fair enough. Sorry. I don't know if you heard any noises before, I just, uh, yeah. Alright, interesting. The University of Iox, some weeks earlier. Interesting, interesting. My story begins on Iox. That was where I met the robot. Other people have legs. Yeah, she does when she stands still, so... Uh, Mistress Alia. Mistress Alia, Alyssa. Alia Alyssa, I have been waiting for you. I have been asked to escort you to Professor Marai. She is very anxious for your arrival. Ooh. Let's see if I can Ilox, okay. Hopefully they're looking for another university. Okay. Am I in trouble? I'm in trouble, aren't I? Uh, she did not say. 
But I imagine she's simply being welcoming. This way. Do you have a name, robot? Is that intended to be a joke, mistress? No. Robots do not have names. Where I, as I understand, will interchangeable. I mean, I've known a few robots in my time. They're all a little different. How can you say so, mistress? How are things here on Lilacs? I was not changed, mistress. Or so I'm assured. It is a single point of stability within the nebula above. She definitely has some walking animation. It's very stilted. I wonder why they make that choice. Uh, this way, you should know the professor's urgency is quite remarkable. Um, kind of question? Maybe we should keep her waiting. I mean, don't want to make a habit of impatience. I cannot not uh, access a course. Um, have you got a promotion? Have I got a promotion? With respect, mistress, I think that's most unlikely. Why is Mariah's room so far from everything? I imagine she enjoys a few of her tree, mistress. I'm sure it's most pleasing to her. Look at her. She looks like a tiger in a cage. Most curious analogy, mistress. I assure you, I'll be required to report it. What's your back, robot? I've had robots go missing on me before, you know. I'll bear that in mind, Elaboratarian. Shall we proceed? The Tree of Knowledge. Or so they call it. Each branch grows more branches. Except for the ones that die, fall off, and are forgotten. Which is where we come in, I suppose. I went outside the university grounds once, exploring. This is a very beautiful moon. You can tell it was once a lush, fertile... There must have been a huge forest, lakes, rivers. They're all but dry now. I suppose they cut down all the trees to make chairs. Or ships. Okay... I was 15 when my Ari rescued me from the slums of El Bareth and brought me here. I'd never seen such luxury or such kindness. What do you think makes such a shelter? A sculpture? What do you think of sculpture? It's a pleasing balance to it. Worth the time it took to make it, do you think? And there are people on El who don't eat. Are your own exploits worth the time they take, Alia? Should we not be making history rather than reviewing it? Be quiet, robot. Well, she's went went straight from being nice to the robot, asking if he has a name, or straight to be quiet, you subservient being. Fair enough, Alia. Exactly how many robots have you lost? They just keep giving me more. Oh dear. Did I accidentally make this lady into a, into a robot-hating arsehole? Huh. Professor Miari. Ah, Alia. There you are. Uh, come in. You want this robot to wait outside? I came as soon as I got your message. Don't make her into a complete arsehole. Hm. You didn't need to flatter me, Alia. You don't need to flatter me, Alia. Nevertheless, I'm glad you came. I know your work is important to you. My work is important to everyone? <laughs> well, today it's important to me. You're our expert on history. Tell me what you make of this. It's certainly old. Empire period. The device is an eagle in the sun. One of the sorrows that this approach to me. Jenny Quirinaba. Do you know him? I did. Look at the detail. I see them. Ancient markings. I know they're a hobby of yours, Alia. But can you read them? Eagle wing brooch. I've never seen either of these groupings before. But the two words have some common elements. So they must have related meanings. Oh, what? 
beloved friend probably then if that's the two choices so uh friend beloved oh wait review continue friend beloved but i'm only guessing professor this friend of yours if he's in love with you i'm not sure how i can help My friend Ali has disappeared. Uh, my friend, he's disappeared. He told me he was going to the moon called Masari. I can't go hunting the nebula for missing people, but you can. That's what it is, isn't it? That's what you do, isn't it? You find things? Did you try contacting him? I can't. Whoever, wherever he is, he's on his own. Not everyone is required to travel with a robot. I could sail to Masari for you. Come back when you found him, Alia. Okay. And Alia, you're taking that robot with you. Uh, thank you, Professor. I long to see Nebula. Oh, and before you go, you should look in on Hyung. He was eager to see you. That doesn't sound promising. Oh, don't be mean, Alia. I know he's rather beneath you, but you at least say good faith heart to him. For the benefit of our little community. I'll bear that in mind. You're as cold as the rivers themselves, well suited to the stars. He's down there by the tree. You must walk straight past him on your way in. Good hunting, my dear. What a weird world so far. Uh, can I just say, Master Salia, it is wonderful to be a contact with you. Heh. <laughs> I hate robots. They're always giving me robots. I lose them like I lose pencils. Ugh, and I'm calling you Six. Six, Mistress? I shall remember that. You know, I don't think I got the translation of this brooch quite right. The shape indicates an empire piece, so I expect the inscription to reflect that. Oh, so I just got it wrong and she's like, yeah. Yeah, okay, so I got it wrong, thank you. Holy Emperor, then? I think that's at least close to it. Okay. So, where did they find you, Six? Me, Alia? Uh, like most robots on Iox, I was shipped carefully from a corporate concrete well in the lower levels. You were buried down there? In indeed. I understand it to be not uncommon to find robots that way. We occur, I'm told, like potatoes. Do you remember being down there? So clearly a lot of technology has been lost. Trapped? No. I barely remember my activation. So clearly he's been uh, trapped down there for a while. In fact, it's looking like this society has definitely regressed in terms of technology. Um, so that's an interesting choice. Like, it doesn't really... It doesn't really scream spacefaring to me. I'm not staying. I'm glad I caught you then. Uh, I've been reading all day. I just came outside to rest my eyes and there you are. Got a new robot. I called it six. Readings, Master Hang. Another one. Is that wise? You don't always bring them back. You don't ever, really. I'll walk you to the dock. I don't know why they give them to me. I can only think they're trying to spread around the nebula a bit. Um, do you know younger Young Kwai Renba? I know Renba, of course. Well, a little. Well, why? What did he teach? He's a roboticist. Uh, one of the best. Uh, one of the few. Uh, did you say did? Did something happen to Jiang Kwai? 
I don't know, I'm... I I'm sure it's nothing bad. Oh my. Uh, before you go, it hardly seems important now, but... Uh, I found a line of ancient annals in the Majwai that I thought you might like. If you had the time, that is. Show me, I'll let you know if I have the time. Yes, I am clearly making this lady into an arsehole. Here, see what you think. Empress. This is a long one. Let me think. Empress. The second word doesn't look like anything I've seen before. Banished. Um, robots. Does Empress Banished Robots work? It's quite a monster, isn't it? But I thought there weren't any robots in the Empire. This suggests otherwise. Wait, how would there be a, a word for robots if it doesn't exist in... Okay. I mean, either that or it got completely wrong, but sure, that works. Have you sailed before, Six? I have no idea, Alia. But I'm keen to find out. Okay. Weird. It's also giving me a timeline. Like, is the purpose of that so we can look back at things? Since they can go very far in the past. Wait, can I read about the Holy Empire? Yes. Six is buried on locks, alongside a whole cohort of robots buried in the land, land inlaid into concrete. That was before the Empire. So the Holy Empire must have came out in like being an anti-technology sort of dealio. The loop across the nebula. Eagle priest, tree plant unlocks. Okay. And then I go locks. Six awakens and locks. And then some things we don't actually know what happens yet. You know, it doesn't look good in the future yet, so interesting. I actually quite like that. It does it does it's quite nice to have that um set up of the time timelines. So that's quite interesting. I wonder if that means there'll be some sort of manipulation of timelines or if it's literally just showing me the timeline rule. My ship is my refuge, it's the only place that's truly mine. So the nightingale must be my ship. At least I have a private ship. More importantly, is it going to be what's it gonna be made out of? Wood. James I should be quick. You want to sail, Six? I'm not really sure I've sailed before, Alia. I should watch how it's done, I think. Eh, I'd rather go elsewhere. Elberth, maybe. That's where I'm from. I want to go home. Alia, there might be... Time might be a factor in Rembo's situation. I'm an archaeologist. If time's a factor, you don't send me. Yet, evidently, the professor did. I mean, that's Renba's problem, not mine. We're going to Albareth. I repaired the ropes. Wait, what? I, I can really just choose to like, completely forget the mission and go somewhere completely unrelated? Will the game punish me for that, or is there some reason to go back home first? Also, I can't tell why is there wood, but this is apparently a nebula. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. So there's Iox. And there's Mercy. And uh, there's Renke. So there are different places. The question is, how much freedom do I have in how I, where I can actually go? It says Elbereth though, so let's go back there. A worker's moon. Okay. What's going to happen when I disobey orders? Like, going back home seems like a really bad idea, but... At the moment, I've made her into a selfish, robot-hating person, so I guess it makes sense. I'm gonna assume we're going all over the place. Oh, what the? Well, that's... Okay, so clearly space travel isn't a thing. It says nebula. What do you think? She's very beautiful human. Oh, 
but I cannot help wondering how you came by her. You're right, Alia. There's only one way to go unless you want me to slow it in my name someone. Yeah, I'm kind of playing I was cool thinking I probably shouldn't take this like uh Stanley Parable entirely. I found her in a ruined hole in El Elvis, covered in dust. She must be in someone's prized possession once. She's mine now. an odd sort of a setup. Very unique form of travel. It says it's a nebula, but it doesn't really feel like an actual nebula. It's a nebula with, well, what I can only assume is actual atmosphere. Because A, it's got actual wind, and B, I've got, I'm going ships through it rather than spaceships. So it's almost like this entire uh, world, oopsies, had, um... They say on Iox that the rivers flow with the souls of the dead. Anything to scare you to the ground. I will say, this is interesting, but does this mean that this planet sort of evolved next to a natural, like, heavily rocky nebula? You'd think the planet would, um, would, like, engulf the stones. Says down six. What a weird, weird thing. Elorif. How far I sail, these alleyways will always be my home. I've been to cities that never... In the dust, outside the great walls of Elbereth. No one looked up to watch us arrive. The people here only ever look down. <laughs> that explains a lot about her. So this is Elorif. This is your home? This is my home. I have seen nothing but Iox. This is not like there. Are you so sure you understand Iox? I've been there ten years and don't understand the place properly. Dirt, Alia, is dirt. Iox does not have it, but Elorif does. This way. This is the gate to the upper citadel. Alia, there's only a solid rock behind this door. Ah, I comprehend. It's a hopper. A hopper? A light matter entanglement device for instantaneous travel. I must assume this gate contains a hopper source. There must be a comparable gate with an eye above. So, a hopper is a teleporter? A short distance teleport, Alia. I assume you've used this gate before? Hundreds of times. Though as children, we climbed down the outside of the walls instead. You just say the word. What is the word, Alia? Cat kiss. In Hakuoki. Another clever excuse to not animate something. We're now somewhat higher up than we were, Alia. Of course we are. We're inside the Citadel. Now this is the main courtyard. There are alleys leading off in all directions. It's easy to get lost up here. Oh, this light yard is this way. Oh, well, lucky there. It's weird, like clearly, I can't tell if it's a lack of animation skill that led to this, but I see that the, it, it works well with the art style. You could buy anything for any purpose. Dependable. <laughs> Cheap. Alia, what is the lady selling? 
can't you tell? Slaves. Is this a slave market? Are you surprised? I would be. I'd be disappointed. This is Elrif. It's as far as X as you can go. I cannot be here, Lalia. What's the problem? My ethical core is programmed against suffering. It does not dif differentiate by economic status. Oh, then your ethical core is broken. Wow. Wow. Okay, I make you into an asshole. Let's do this. Let's, let's go full in. Then your ethical core is broken. Obviously, is the only one I have. Let's just keep moving. Don't take too much attention. I'll get that ethical core removed one of these days. My friend Ori could do it. With respect, Alia. I am certain she could not. You're lost, Farwet. My name isn't Farwet. You look like a Farwet to me. And you brought a Mamki did with you. A robot here. You've got keen eyes, traitor. The soapstone has a spark. Tell me, soapstone. What are you doing to bring a Mamki down here? What good are the metal things to anyone? Perhaps you're hoping to start a riot? Eh, it's useful enough for me. I suppose you think that thing of yours will stop anyone from demanding respect. The respect you deserve has been my eyes. Ha! You're fearless, aren't you? I'd like you if you weren't such a shallow high. Don't you have a store to run? Or is business slow today? You Ioxians. You eat the failure of others. And your kind won't be happy until one day only the mama can eat. You don't look under underfed to me. Huh, farewell. Fart Shire. They say workers, but clearly they're slaves. This place turns my stomach too. I might end up like this, so I'd be for Marai. <laughs> I never understood Professor Marai. You know, she brought me to Ajax from here. I was in an orphanage, and now she keeps giving me robots when I keep losing them. I really don't know what she gets out of me, out of it. Perhaps he likes to be kind, Alia. And not to robots, clearly. I'm not convinced. <laughs> Keep talking. Yes? Why don't your laborers escape? Don't be so disgusting. They aren't captives. Besides. Where would they go? What now? Sold anything yet? Someone always needs someone. I can wait. I can afford to wait after all. Jesus, this is a dark world. I give it that. Good faith to you, Farwet. Wow, everyone's just insulting me with racial slurs and apparently this is where I'm from. How goes things? Well enough, thank you. Walk with the goddess. Or die in Oryx, I don't care. What the hell is with people here? Okay, people are assholes in this world. I the cat kiss is like a maze. But I'd spent 10 years tearing through these alleyways. Why is everyone such an asshole? I don't appreciate how much people are assholes here. I could have found my way to Tappy's in the dark. I mean, can can you find your way to Tappy's in the dark? Because, like... I, I don't think I'm actually going the right way. I'm really just randomly walking. Ah, uh, don't worry, Six. I'll protect you. 
Your attitudes betray your fear, Alia. I will charge the hopper. I think it's C. Is there any way I can change the um, way the view the view is? Like, is it just a? St can I can I at least like modify the way my view is? Can I? Oh, I can move the mouse. Wow. Okay, I've been playing this whole game about. I'm an idiot. Gotcha. Okay. For some reason, I thought this game was did not allow that. I don't know why I didn't think that, but okay, I thought that. But okay. Oh. Oh, we definitely went the wrong way. Yes. And and the character was just saying how great they were at navigating. Mm, I've never been here before. This gate slings locked so I can remember. A key must be lost somewhere. Ori and I used to climb over it. You're gonna love it. I don't think I like it. Yeah, which once again is actually fair. Okay, so now I actually know I can move the mouse, the camera around. That should help. Yeah. It's how he winds through the tapas yards. Tappy deals and jewelry, trinkets, rumors. You might be able to trade something. I know, you just insulted the last uh, trader you found. Granted, they were a slave trader, so you like, fair enough. I guess this is where I'm meant to go. Hmm. Tappy's place isn't big. But inside it's a treasure trove. Hold it! Oh! But it's you! Oh, welcome back to Elleriff, Moonflower! Uh, give it back, Tappy. Whatever it is you took. I confess I only really saw the robot. Uh, but friends, you know our friends! Uh, so you have no doubt about your precious brooch back. Hmm. Do not trust this man. It's a little late for the warning, Six. Twelve years too late. I really don't trust him. Uh, you adore me instead. I prefer to have it that way. Now, come on in out of the cold. Mm, seems this I'll wait here. Tappy's place was a little museum to junk. Pots and boxes, spoons and hooks and pocket knives. Oh, I'm so glad you came back to Elleriff, Alia. The rivers all grow dull when you're not with us. And at the centre of it all was Tappy, grinning away like a skull in a bodysuit. Uh, Tappy, don't flirt with me. I know perfectly well you don't mean it. Ah, oh, but that's what makes it so enjoyable. All the flavor of none of the hangover. It's so tappy. I want to show you an artifact you almost stole. Oh, yes? This brooch. Dating from the Holy Empire. Hmm. Interesting. I have something of a similar period, I think. Yes, this is it. A copper sculpture of a leaf. There's an inscription on it. Ah, oh, god damn it. This is the end of a line of text. Oh, so this time I'm actually... I can actually uh, pull it in and, see, and... Oh, that's better than before. I much prefer that. Okay, related words, holy, light, impress, okay, light, related words to empress, so holy beloved, I'm guessing, maybe, I know I did that last time, but hey, I guess it'll change my mind, but, holy beloved, I can see what Hongyun thinks when it gets to Eox. <laughs> Uh, this comes to the same side as the brooch, uh, the one Mari gave me on Elox. Mm, having it should be useful for tracking down where these things originated. So if you've seen the merchandise, the sculpture for the eagle wing brooch. 
What sculpture? No, I'm not going to give the brooch. Thank you for letting me see it, but no. Uh, something else, perhaps. Another time. There. If there's more to let me look at another time when my eyes have recovered. Another thing, Tappy. How do Elafians revering things? Has it been so long since you were here? Uh, perhaps it has. Uh, anyway, our suffering is stable for the most part. I'm supposed to be looking for an Eloxian who's lost a nebula. But you're not? Why is that? Do you decide that Oxians are worthless to trade? I admit I'm stalling for time. The more time I take, the less likely I am to find him. The more likely it is he's dead. But he's not in my shop. I don't have him hiding in my apartment, doing my cooking, just so you know. Wow, she really is an asshole. By the way, Tappy. Where do you get all the stuff from, Tappy? People bring me things. They leave things lying around. Does everyone take something away, too? Well, a fair society. Everyone gets something. See you later, Tappy. Will any of these people be people I like? Any of these people be people I like. At the moment, every character except for the robot is a bad, bad person. So, Teeth, we have one new artifact to trace. We've learned the location of an interest and unknown site. Shall we leave now? Mm, let's get out of here. Okay. You ready, Alia? And so we left the surface of Alberth. Okay. Can I really stall for time and go for somewhere completely unrelated? I'm kind of curious as to how much I can screw this lady up. And I also am curious if I can be a nice girl too, a nice person too, you know? I feel like I'm sort of treating this like I did um, Late Shift or whatever it was called. The uh, weird uh, FMV game we played where I tried consistently to do the worst thing I could. Interesting. So we do have a sort of a base here. We're going to rest six. The nebula. Look out there. It seems gone forever. Alia? I could sail forever. Interesting, Alia. Uh, could you sail forever or would you run out of the sky? start sailing. I read ropes. Wow, he looks so di disappointed in me and everything I'm doing right now. And more importantly, can I go anywhere other than where I'm meant to go right now? Like, can I go to this mercy place? Apparently I can. It says Iox. No, it, unknown site. Remke. Remke is a moon far outside the reach of Iox. I've never been there. Well, can you go there now? No. Can you go to the unknown site? That's so still down there. Don't know how to find the site yet. Okay. Well, I guess that means I've got to go to Marassi. They're all moons. That's the other interesting thing. Every single thing. They're all saying they're moons, not planets. Which I guess makes sense if they're not uh, enough gravity to actually... It feels like in a few thousand years, this entire nebula would probably suck into itself into one massive planet. Or a star, maybe. My Ari wanted us to sail to Mayerzi. Even the rivers leads to our destination. I guess all wor worlds um, lead to Nerezi, then. How old is the Nightingale? I'm, I'm not sure. Almost one and a half thousand years old, maybe? So, on the one hand, this, this world is interesting. So I might play it when I'm in the mood for this sort of game. 
At the same token, it's also very slow and like, what the hell's happening here? I don't even know. Maybe I'm going against the wind at the moment or something. Um, but like, it's odd. I want to know what the hell's going on. You would not think to give your ship to curators, Ox. Um, why can I not? She's not going to be signed after all. Why is it going so slowly? I don't get it. Uh, Ice doesn't like people to have ships. And how did they get around? They would have burned her. What? So the Ix people are just as arsehole as everyone else. The ship is no secret, Alia. Is there any reason why I can't actually move right now? Like, what am I doing wrong? Okay, that's weird. Now I'm sailing, probably. That's so odd. Uh, okay. Never mind. It's back to how it was. Why lets me do what I like? That's sweet to sail, but like... Oh, oh, I'm actually meant to... Oh, I'm actually meant to go backwards and forwards. I see. I actually have to hold my back button and then like pump it like a jellyfish. Okay, I didn't have to do that before, so I'm guessing the wind was in my favor back then. And now let's see this again. Okay, interesting. Yeah, this game is interesting. It's definitely doing some interesting things. It's very s simplistic on the animations. I wonder if that was just stylistic or if it actually was to help lower some of the, uh, um, the workload, which would be fair, mind. They say on Elbereth, if you sail too far, you'll meet yourself coming back. But I've sailed plenty far, and I still don't know who I'm supposed to be. Huh. I should go right shortly. I mean, I've made this person to a pretty hateful character, yes, but like, there's a lot of people in this world that seems very hateful. Force of the river is as far as the middle. Yes, but like, there's also a bunch of rocks in the middle. Yeah, once again, is that is that for a particular reason? Yeah. Guess we're almost there, maybe. This has to be it, right? Hold on, Six. I cannot hold. We're in one piece. We appear to be. Now, I know I shouldn't um, put my own cultural problems on um, this game. Like, I shouldn't really judge the slave trader that as harshly as I would in real life. But I, I just hate that sort of stuff. Look out there, Six. If indeed, if, if it at least is indeed beautiful, Alia. Yeah? Let it pass. How strange. Move to right should bring us to mercy. Like, I definitely went... Okay. It's very odd. I always feel like I'd rather read this, and I don't usually read that much. I do feel like it might be a better book. It's like, gameplay-wise, it's fairly basic. So far. See the greenery from here. Well, I can see green, sure, but it's not sure it's greenery. Marcy, a farming moon. If Rember's here, I need to find him. Something tells me he won't be. If not, I need to work out where he went. We stepped off the ship and into the mud. Mud okay, covered the trees. ground and rock. Interesting. And everywhere I looked, things were growing from the mud. And oh, big. Those things had legs. It's a 
first time she's seen living things? Look at this place. Breathe the air. I, I cannot breathe, Alia. Wow, that was, that was pretty rude. You know, as you're no doubt aware. Yeah, I know. Well then. Let's see where Renber's got to. If we're really lucky, he'll have found an old pot. Okay. Well, we're, we're on Mercy. So where do we start? Yeah, that's a good question. There are a series of rice terraces. If we climb up away from the water, it should take us to the village. There's something scratched here. The emblem of Iox. The moon is in the Iox Protectorate. Well, Chikari won't be hiding in there. That tithe barn was so big. This moon produces surplus. What good does them? The air smelled earthy and sweet. Very interesting. Look at this thing. Beautifully crafted. Evidently it's quite old. It seems like something she'd like though. Where does all the water come from? There's a wellspring in the rock below us, Isla. The soil is perfectly saturated by it. Okay, okay, okay. Interesting. Oh, that was the end of the scene, obviously. Something's carved here. Symbols in ancient script. I might be able to translate them. Holy. Well, I know the word for holy, then. Okay. Related words, empress and beloved. Holy. Death. Empress and Beloved. Give me heart. Empress Beloved Robots. Holy Heart Goddess? I don't know. They have Pig God too. I don't know if that's in close and how we expect the pigs to be atheists. Like me! Can you do a scan for Jen Kwai or something? Mistress has mistaken me for a dog. Perhaps if you had a scrap of clothing, I could trace his scent. Can you do that? Trace his scent? No, Alia. If I see him, I'll let you know. Mm, so much rice. Just lying around. I could scoop off of enough in my bag to feed an Olympian penning for a week. No one even noticed it was gone. I'd heard it Alif was a mood of thieves, Allah. I assumed it was a slur rather than a strategy. I don't know, based on what we saw about them though. Why can't ever be like this? Enough food, enough space, enough water. Indeed, Lisa. Asa. Evidently the mystery to me why it was ever anyway. Buildings on stilts, jumping out of the bushes like children. It was so quiet. Good faith to you. My apologies, Exxon. My pigs need me. Please, if you could just... Did I do something wrong? You came here. Now, everyone's arsehole in this world, aren't they? Locals don't seem surprised to see me. Or they see you to or see you. Imagine robots collect with supplies for you routinely. Local said I note and also don't see you please see you either. It's plenty of rice stored up. Everyone should move itself here. I believe that is exactly what the protectorate exists to prevent. 
How many moons are there in the Protector 6? Last settlement, there was 23. By my faith. It stinks here. I do not believe please to know for hygiene, Alia. Also, by my faith? Yeesh. Their choices of, um, of expletives are very weird. Now, what would Jin Kwai be doing here? There aren't many robots in Masai, are there? Oh, it's taking my control. But clearly, we've gotten close enough to where we're meant to go. Or meant to walk past. Met at nope. the heart of the village. I could imagine them all sitting around here in the evenings, sipping rocker and singing. It seemed nice. I'm still entirely sure what sort of game this is. It's not really an adventure game. I mean, it is an adventure game, but it's more of a, it's only really a point and click is what I mean. It's sort of, it's story based, but gameplay wise, it's predominantly just talking. But there doesn't seem there's any wrong answers. So it's like a choose your adventure in a weird way, but it feels like it has slightly less to it. I'm not sure what I think about this game, to be honest. But for now, I think we're getting closer to the point where we might be ending this. I'm looking for someone. Greens you too, stranger. Who? Not a Messarian, surely. We are like as ants to you. Do you find some robots here? Did someone from Ilox come to see them? The only robots here are the ones that take our rice. They make us carry it ourselves onto their ships. What? They tell us when a bag is three grains short. If we found any robots here, we'd turn them to cooking utensils. With no offense to your metal friend. <laughs> Six is not my friend. I did not expect to become mine. But if there's no one here now, who shouldn't be? Well, there wasn't. Good luck with your search. They say Nebula's wide. Now, people are kind of assholes around here. To be fair, so is my main character. Helpful. Is Rainbow is never here, Ella. That's who returned to the ship. I mean, or they were lying. Maybe someone will talk to us properly. I doubt it. Not finished with you yet. Is that so? Do you recognize this? I recognize in all of our Ixian masters, of course. But do you recognize this brooch? No. No one here would own a brooch like that. Not every slave must wear their chains. You don't like Eloxians? They are well-mannered thieves. I'll pass that along. They know how they treat us. I did not expect it would surprise them. Good faith to you. Okay, so essentially, I'm not sure how I'm, like, what I'm getting out of this game. It's sort of, the whole world is sort of pissing me off a little bit. It's like a very unpleasant world, and I'm pretty sure it's meant to be that way on purpose. But I'm not sure what the outcome's trying to be. Is it trying to make me dislike the world, or is it trying to make me be intrigued by the world, or both? Like, I'm not sure. You're from Ajax? My name's Ila. And then you're not her. Not Marai. My name is Alaya Marai. Do you have a message for me? He told me you might come. Yankwai? My tall Eloxian. He left something for you. With the goddess to keep safe. The statue. With Keba. I hope you find him, Miss Mirai. Can you tell me what he's doing here? Did someone find you some robots? He was looking for something. In the sky. He's always watching the rivers. I have to go now. I don't want them seeing you talking to you. 
Okay. Fair enough, I suppose. I guess we'll end this when I go down and see what the hell this thing at the um, statue is. Uh, no, that is not a stairway down. So. No, it is. It is a way down. It's not a stairway down. It's a slightly, uh, slightly grass and path. Oh god. It, this is giving me some flashbacks of some other slow walking games. I wish I could make her run. Good faith, lady. Please keep it quick. I don't want to talk to you. Is there something in the mud? No, nothing here. I guess what would happen if I missed something? I actually don't want to do that. I just want to see you just had something to say about it. I didn't think you'd take away my control. I just walked down here. I, I just walked down here. Why would you make a, a, a pathway like that up? Like what benefit does it have to force me to go up? I guess I can take my hands off the controller for a bit, but like... Unless you give me a similar prompt on the way down, that just sounds like... Annoying level design. There's more to be learned here, Alia. Shall we leave? I mean... The woman said there was something here. Why would I possibly go back? Exactly, why would I leave now? I mean, besides the obvious. Did you recognize Rember if you saw him? Did you meet him? I believe he activated me, Alia. I suspect this is why Professor Marai assigned me to him. Good faith. Please keep quick. I don't want to talk to you. Okay, but I actually wasn't trying to talk to you either, so... You know. I mean, if you like to look at this game, I mean, why not? There's nothing wrong with it. But I do have to say, I'm not entirely intrigued at this point. Obviously, it's stuff I wish I knew, but it's mostly just about how the how the world is. The world seems very uh, interesting, but also very, yeah. And so we left the wait. What? No! What? No! I didn't. Ah! What? Why would you do that to me? Did I accidentally select that? I thought it just went question. Okay, look. I don't like arbitrary time limits, and I don't like it when it's like consistently asked you to leave. It was quite useful the first time, but after that, it's just a little bit eh. Anyway, I guess that's us for now. Um, I'm not sure what to say about this game. I don't know if I'll play it again. But um, yeah, I suppose heaven that's Heaven's Vault, everyone. Um, if you like what you saw here, I'll put a link down in the description down below. It is quite an interesting world, and the art decisions, the art choices are actually quite interesting as well. That being said, um, it's a questionable world that makes me feel quite anger. I have a lot of anger towards some of the people who live there. A lot of slavery, there's a lot of um, like people hating on people just because. Uh, and not to mention all the robot hate. I don't, I don't like that either. But, besides that, um, I hope you've had a good time watching this today. And I hope you'll join me next time on my Mountain of Shame. We'll see how long or how well this uh, microphone stand works. Or if I even keep using it, depending on whether it keeps falling off or not. It didn't throughout this video though, so that's probably fine. If I could easily remove and add it back in, that would work. But anyway, thank you for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.